ways, um, but our hope for the Emerging Media Studies program is that it will always be, regardless of how many years it's operating, the youngest of the doctoral programs, because it is, uh, by definition, by design, intended to be about what's happening now or what uh, what is coming forward in the near future. It's, uh, uh, I think, always uh, going to be on the edge of discovery. So uh, it's a program we're really proud of and very excited about. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to tell just a quick little story here. People ask me uh, a lot about, well, just what exactly do you do in the Emerging Media Studies program? Just what does that mean? Um, do you make things? Uh, and I said, well, no, we're really not. We don't make something like a uh, like you might if it was engineering. <laughs> said it's a way of thinking about things. And um, I said, well, wh where does that come from? And um, and I tell I tell the story about one of our most noted faculty members. Uh, some of you may know this was Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell, I believe it was in the 1870s, of course, is the inventor of the telephone. And he did it here at Boston University while he was a faculty member. But what a lot of people don't realize is that it was an accident that he did it. He was not a professor of engineering in the sense he didn't set out to say, let me invent some new form of communication that we can uh, talk to each other in those days wire to wire. He was involved in really what amounted to um, an effort to help people who were hearing impaired have what would I think we would today think of as having a hearing aid, uh, and uh, and that's what he was working on. He was a, a professor in in audiology. Um, of course, when he invented that uh, idea, it, was, it, it immediately grew into something bigger. So. Um, I mention that uh, because uh, a lot of things happen. Uh, a lot of technology is created, and it ultimately ends up being used for a purpose that uh, the original inventors didn't intend it, or didn't at least it wasn't part of their uh, design. But it goes off, and it becomes then a critical part of ultimately the way we act and so forth. And so, when I tell people, well, what we're doing is we're trying to understand what caused the telephone to come out of this uh, this little invention that Alexander Graham Bell came up with. Why did it become so important to us? And in so many ways, uh, transformative to our culture and our society. Uh, and, and that's really what uh, uh, so many of you are involved in now in emerging media. It's uh, understanding that technology is going to constantly be creating new um, opportunities for us to do things, but I think what really is um, uh, is interesting is, well, then how will that affect us? How does that affect the person who uses it? How does it affect the person who's on the other end of that message? Um, how did that happen to it, uh, succeed to begin with? Why did this succeed? Why didn't another succeed? It's um, It really is, and this is something that Dr. Katz, I think, uh, um, taught me a lot about. It's, it's really on the border sometimes of what would be technology and um, philosophy, because we're, there's a lot of how questions that come in. And uh, uh, and so what we're, uh, I think, trying to do with the Emerging Media Studies program is, uh, is wrestle with some of those. And obviously, hopefully, we'll discover some things along the way about the, uh, the how and the why, as opposed to the what of technology. And it's a lot of fun. And uh, this, this uh, annual, program here is an opportunity, I think, to try to raise some of those issues, talk about some of those issues, share what you have all learned, and uh, uh, and again, I, I think it's in a lot of ways, it's the high point, uh, the capstone of what you've done in the past year. So uh, congratulations to all of you for doing this. I um, wish I could join you. I have to go. You've probably seen these, these uh, herds walking around campus with the signs that's like the mother duck and the ducklings following them. And that is, freshman orientation is upon us, and uh, so we have one of those groups, uh, several of those groups actually coming to calm, and uh, I need to go there and, uh, I guess, make all the anxiety go away. So uh, it's an exciting day, but uh, again, I uh, really appreciate what you've done. Hope you'll have a great day. I know you'll have a uh, great keynote speaker. So congratulations to all of you.